Japan Journal with Mal Adams, the Internet's number one weekly English language online cybercast from Japan. This episode features our regular series, Rap About It. And now your host, Mal Adams. Good day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Japan Journal. I'm your host, Mal Adams, here on the Internet's number one weekly English language online cybercast. Japan Journal with yours, Julie Mount Adams, coming to you from the Media Arts Lab in beautiful downtown Kakiao City in the center of the Japanese archipelago on the western end of Shizuoka Prefecture, the heartland of Japan. And you are watching the Rap About It series of episodes. And this particular season features artists and musicians and celebrities and people of color who have spent many years in Japan and who else but my godfather is with me today? <laughs> Brother Marty Bracey, man. How love me. <laughs> so, man, you got it. No, man. Yes, yeah. sir, oh, man. My all proper respect to you. Yes, oh, yes. Man, come on. Come on. This is all oh. about you, man. This is a chance, you know, part and parcel of whatever take talk to whatever about getting old and growing old. We're gonna smell our flowers. Well, man, I like what you said. That. I'm looking at a whole list of flowers here to share with our viewers about you, my brother. Okay. Marty was here when I got here, and I've been here a mighty long time. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go through all of that right now. But, Marty, if, if I may, let me just share with our viewers some of the highlights of your career. It's so illustrious, man, and uh, all with all due respect, my brother. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be able to put you on like this, man. Uh, uh, thanks. And I want you to consider this a recurring visit to come and contribute, man, and cohort. Uh, man. Let's let's we we're gonna get Warnell next, and we're gonna get all the brothers, you know, because these are stories that people ought to know. They would, you know, we are expats living in Japan, man, mm. raising families and raising kids. We're just talking in the pre-show about our children, our grandchildren. Man. Mm. That's it, man. So, yeah, no, uh, much respect to you. Just to share my feeling, when I first came to Japan and found out about you and some of the others who have preceded me here, it was amazing because I think the Japanese know more about you than we do. <laughs> <laughs> because you were a brother that had a presence on Japanese TV with Japanese activities, bands, and uh, yeah, yeah, Japanese celebrity players. You were that brother that was popping up all throughout it, on everybody's band, on everybody's TV show. Let me yeah, just run down the list of your artists and your most memorable events and correct my pronunciation on some of these names. But here's a sketch of uh, Brother Marty Brace's music career. Nakahara Rie, Izumi Kibayashi and Flying Mini Band, the first uh -huh. recording for a movie soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Tomita Isao, first computer graphic show at Nippon Burkan in Tokyo. Ohas, Ohashi Jimko, I know that name, winning the first Korean music festival, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then then the, the, the big one for me was the Monta Brothers. Monta and Brothers, the first African-American to perform the Kohaku year-end show on NHK, right? Is that the red and white thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's, 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 what an honor. <clears throat> That's like playing at Carnegie Hall on New Year's Eve, man. Right. right. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, Pretty comparable to that, right? That's large. It, you know? I, I, I've been, you know, Warner calls me the, uh, the pioneer of, uh, you know, the, the black pioneer of, of, of Japan, brother wife, you know, and I've never looked at it it looked at my career that that way yeah but but the timing was right i guess you know and then my goals of of deciding to stay here and 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 do what i can you know be me you know you you're not influenced by what's going on uh you know so music musically by the market yeah or or you know the peers around you 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 you're mostly uh, uh, looking at you know your your passion to do be you, and, and do what you want to. Interesting, you put it in that perspective because you were not you were not influenced uh, from my understanding, my perspective about the trends or what what right. had to be in the eyes of somebody back in the West that, that would 
determine your success or failure. Thank you. You absorbed and contributed to what was going on around you. And that was a variety of things. And that, that was, that kind of uh, speaks to what my, I first stated in terms of my impression of you when you came here. Mm. You were off in the culture and in the system, in the society, man, doing mm. you. Right. And contributing your skills. So you blew up that way because they then appreciated learning from you and, con and including you in their activities it had nothing to do with being black or uh, all this. It's, it was about it's all, personality it, who you were the thing is it's marty bracy what is marty bracy bringing into the table Absolutely. what do you, what are your assets Absolutely. that they need you know and then I always had this thing, I'm not working for you, I'm working with you. Oh, absolutely. I said the same thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And and so that's another side about the business aspects. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah, if I may just get in your business, I don't think you ever worried about paying the rent, have you? <laughs> <laughs> not with no mega drive and no. way to Masaki, not rolling with those cats, man. Yeah. So, well, Omega Tribe was was like that. That was the first time, you know, I made, you know, six figures. <laughs> no, that's right. Yes, <laughs> uh, that's uh, now. Tell me about Carlos Toshiki and the Omega Tribe. Describe who the Omega Tribe is for our viewers who may not know. One of the most famous <laughs> Japanese bands in modern history, if I could say that, right? About thirty-five years ago. Uh, well, over 30, yeah, about 35 years ago, there's a group called Omega Tribe in Japan. And the lead vocal uh, at that time in that group wanted to go solo. So he, as he went solo, the rest of the members decided, they said, we're looking for a new uh, 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 lead vocalist for the Omega Tribe, which became, uh, well, they auditioned uh, Carlos Toshki. And he's third generation Brazil, Japanese, Japanese, Brazilian. Yeah. And uh, he auditioned for the group. And I guess, you know, they, he became the lead vocalist. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, at that time, they were looking for new support members. And I got the call. Me and, uh, uh, wow, Warnell Jones, who was actually doing a lot of vocal uh, recordings for, for that group. Shout out to Warnell coming up on this piece. Warnell, Warnell and I have been talking about do this, doing this before I actually started doing it. That's mm. our brother on bass. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, he's from the. He was introduced to Japan through Rufus coming to Japan uh, uh, playing the Mugen, which was was a popular disco at that time, and uh, he decided to stay like I did, you know. And uh, see what we could do in the in the music uh, uh, industry over here. Let's go we, back to the beginning. When did you come? First of all, Omega Tribe. What year was that? That was uh, uh, 19, 19, I think nineteen eighty six. Okay. And then yeah. Uh, now before that though, you had uh, you'd been here a few years, I think, uh, prior to that, had you not? Yeah. Yeah. What, how did you end up coming to Japan and, and what led to you staying here? Uh, okay. Uh, the Air Force brought me to Japan. Okay. And uh, you born and raised in, in Chicago. Chicago, right? Okay. And uh, well, I dropped out of college my first year because I wanted, I was, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I want to do, can I do music or, you know, I was on a tour that flopped you know, for, far as I'm concerned, flop with me. And uh, I was supposed to go back to school. I'm late and all this kind of stuff. So my, my parents saying no more money, this and that, you know, peer, you know, it's like, it was a whole lot of pressure on me, I thought. <laughs> and uh, the only way to get out of Dodge, join the Air Force. Yeah. And they brought me to Japan. I uh, played, you know, play drums when I was in Chicago. So on the weekends when I had time off from my, my regular Air Force gig, I was downtown playing. Or, or we had a band that was, uh, half of the cats were in the army band. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was as another couple of people in the Air Force. 
So we would get together on the weekends and play the, uh, the military clubs. And uh, at that time, it's, that's when the disco boom happened in, in Japan. Right. Uh, late 70s, uh, around, yeah, 78, around that time. Mm. And uh, wherever you went, if you were black and you played music, you had a gig. Trust. And <laughs> on the weekends, you were making more money than I was making more money than I was in the Air Force. So uh, I just, I said to myself, you know, let me that, stay. That, over. that was the beginning of the bubble economy. Everybody was yeah. rich in Japan in the late yeah. 80s. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, man. And uh, that, you know, that was one of the big things that wanted, uh, well, help me decide that I wanted to stay. The other thing was a lot of musicians in, in the States were leaving the States and going to Europe. Uh, they even, you know, uh, grew up right around the corner from Muddy Waters. So it's like, you know, Europe invited, you know, the Beatles and the rock groups over there invited him. And, you know, he was uh, taken like, you know, God, you know, because they were in, you know, people loved what we do, you know, love the music that we, we create. So I said, nobody's doing it from Asia. And uh, if I could be the first brother to be re, uh, let's say, re-imported uh, back to the States as a musician, a professional musician, that would be something. Yeah. You know? And that was one of the dreams or goals that I had in me staying here in Japan. Nice, nice. Good strategy because it was very conducive to the times, too. The opportunity was just everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you had, they were opening up big venues, you know, brought over James Brown. I saw uh, uh, Brothers Johnson, you know. Uh, uh, man, you know, music, it, it was alive. It, it was almost like, uh, Tokyo was almost like Vegas. Uh, uh, you could walk down the street and everybody thought you were Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Hey, or if not, who are you? <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> you somebody, you must be somebody. Yeah. Right, to be and over here, yes, yes, yes. My career coming over, I had the visibility on the media and CNN, man, and uh, at that time, we were just blessed to be here. In the, right, right. In the but at the, at the same time, you, you, you had to, Turn, turn away from the exploitation that, that we were getting about being black. Uh, uh, okay, you had the trans, transit groups or transit acts or yes. transit, and they would come in, uh, say, three months at a time or whatever, but nobody was staying. Right, right. And the people who, just, like, like me, who decided to stay, uh, we, you know, it was a different thing. You, you, it was or different uh, uh, hurdles that you had to uh, uh, jump over. Uh, for one thing, the language barrier. Yeah. Let's that, talk about that. How, how crucial is that to your career and your success? Because you speak the language. Right, right, right. For a long time, early on. So you uh, can interact with your Japanese counterparts a lot easier. Thank you. And much yeah. more successfully, that, that's right. key. Communication is always the key, right? I, I, I tell people who would ask me, how is it staying over here or whatever? And the first thing I, I would tell them, you have to learn the language. Sure. And, 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 and the, the analogy of that was if a Japanese person went back to the States, wanted to sit in on a session and said, uh, and, and spoke in his own language, you know, can I sit in? You know, nobody, they would look at him like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Well, you know. Is in, in those common sense things, a lot of people wouldn't look at, you know, to me. Absolutely. And and that was part of my success of, of being over here, of, of learning how to communicate and, and not needing that uh, in between or that girlfriend who would not didn't understand oh, yeah. uh, what business was or, right. you know, somebody taking off the top what I needed to have, you know, to pay my rent, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, you touched on an issue right there. Let's, let, let's go into it. A lot of the cats, the transitional bands that you described, a lot of black music coming and going, coming and going, but 
Not many considered staying here because of the lack of language ability. The, uh, in order to do so, then having to rely on, on a significant other who may be Japanese that could not actually represent you properly, and you'd be in a position of being abused or mistreated or whatnot, and it's a bad experience. There are a lot of cats who stayed and suffered that kind of thing because they didn't have the language skills, didn't have mm. the understanding of the culture, didn't mm. have communication with the people and the, the, uh, where the opportunities emerged from, right? Couldn't right, right. Of it. So language yeah. is key. Appreciate you sharing that, man, because mm. uh, I know that to be true in my own case. So yes, mm. my godfather, brother, because <laughs> no, you, you was speaking Japanese when I got here. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I, I, I oh, had being, being interviewed and what what <laughs> right. yes no. yes sir man so um yeah coming from Chicago through the military man brilliant brilliant mm -hmm. and so you know just to look at your list again here I mean people would have to know who these names are but uh, Ueda Masaki uh how would you describe that artist in in, in I, I, how he's he, by Japanese? Wait, Masaki is one of the I think one of the funkiest male vocalists in Japan. Okay, and, you know from back in the day, he, he, he had a certain okay. Uh, when I first got here, I didn't really understand the language, but I I I had a couple artists that I could feel. Yeah. But, you know, you, you didn't understand what they were saying, but you could feel what they were saying. You know, mm -hmm. they they presented it in a way that uh, was soulful to me. Yeah, a lot of them emulated what you had naturally, our music. <laughs> like you said, let's shout out to the culture, our black mm -hmm. culture. You know, we had and, much respect. And, and uh, he, Reda Masaki is, is on, on that, my, my top list of, of, of male vocalist and, and I had the opportunity to take him to uh, uh, Los Angeles for their first uh, uh, music festival. Okay. And uh, how that came about was uh, me and Andre Fisher, who's actually the, the original uh, of uh, Chaka Khan and Rufus who put the, you know, put the group. Uh, other projects he did, yeah, but. Uh... And uh, we, we, we became real good friends when he was over here playing at the Mugen. And uh, he was uh, the musical director uh, for the Los Angeles uh, uh, Music Festival. And Japan wanted to bring over, uh, uh, well, they were asking, you know, who, who should represent Japan? Okay. And uh, Wade Masaki's uh, office got a call or somebody, or oh, he got a call. Andre got a call and said they, uh, Japan wants to bring over Shoujin, uh, Shoujo Tai, mm -hmm. which is a, a, a little kid's uh, a female uh, vocal group who really can't sing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, you know, feel or he didn't feel he's, uh, wow, there's better artists over in Japan that would, you know, be better, better representatives of, of Japan. Yep. So he called me and said, Marty, who do you think? And I said, I'm, I'm gigging with Wei Masaki. So I think he would be a very good yeah. uh, uh, representative of, of Japan's uh, uh, music market. And uh, we, got, we got the OK, went. The show was fantastic, man. We, we're working, the band, the orchestra was LA's finest. Uh, this, it was a sister on percussion. She works with Barry Manilow. Uh, the music director on piano was uh, uh, Cindy, who played uh, guitar with Prince. Wow. It was it was her father. Wow! And, and I mean, everybody is who who did it, what did it? They, like they the, were, the first LA Music Festival, right? Yeah, right, right, right. It was, it was a competition, right? Yeah, and uh, you had people from Europe and and, and bands, uh, uh, people from all over the place, and. Uh, but here we, you come as a black man coming from Japan to participate. Yeah, we, wow. uh, I, I was, how did, did y'all do in the competition? Oh man, we won best uh best song. What? And and and, and third place for for performance. Oh, right. two, two two awards. 
See? And See? I was going, hey man, I was going over there at, as as his like a uh, uh, translator manager. Sure. And when when they found out I was a drummer <laughs> and I that I could play, uh, Cindy's father said, bring your ass on up here, man. <laughs> get up here and play the drum. And when I played, they said, no wonder, you know, and and uh you should stay your ass here in LA and and, and make, you know, yeah. and be some new 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 breath. You know, I yeah, said, sure. wow, man, you know. It, it was it was but see we're already making history brother who knew that you were behind Wade Masaki going to the first LA music festival <laughs> oh man, yeah it's scoop just it's, number one you just gave me my first scoop of the hour <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's I, I've been in a lot of situations like that uh Izumi Kobayashi uh they were invited to uh Disneyland and uh, Orange County Disneyland uh, for the Japanese uh, month or Japanese week. Mm. And uh, I'm a member of the band. So- the Flying Mimi band, right? Yeah, Izumi Kashi, yeah. Mm. And uh, uh, we're coming out of this, this, uh, this space that comes up out of the ground. Wow. And uh, he's got this brother playing drums and it's, and it's a Japan, Japan day. <laughs> Japan week. So it's like, is he Japanese? You know, that's uh, that was one that was in it was an, one more. I was in Hawaii and uh this is during the, the Montana Brothers uh, uh era. And our the office, the head of office is Kichaji Masablo. He's like uh yeah. French of, of Japan. Yeah. And uh that was another uh Japan holiday in Hawaii. And we're in this convertible, <laughs> top down, in a parade, man, and, and and you know everybody's like, wow, 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 wow. This I'm in this convertible with with the, with the man. They said this cat from on, on the side of the street said he don't look Japanese, <laughs> but he, he's he's all up in this car like like wow, you know. <laughs> Part of the package, absolutely. <laughs> right, yeah. Now, a word about Mountain Brothers, man. Uh, mm. Wow, how big did that get at that time? Oh, okay. I mean, that, you got a lot of TV coverage. You got concert, live concert exposure to millions of Japanese, man. Who, you know, I, think about that, that for me. That okay, Mountain Brothers debuted in 1980. Uh, he was actually writing. He was a member of the same office, production office that I was working with. Uh, with Ohashi Junko. We met each other when I was in the Air Force a long time ago. He would uh, come down and sit in uh, or, you know, sing James Brown screaming and all of that. Oh, so man. we've met, you know, years past and he's walking down the hallway of the production office. I say, hey man, what's up? You know, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, I'm getting ready to uh, release my uh, uh, debut single. Mm -hmm. and for I want to make a band, uh, Marty. You know, let's do this together. You know, and up until that point, I was like, say, support member of the group. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, something in the background, but I'm I'm there. I'm there with mm -hmm. with you. But Montana Brothers, may I am now the upfront. I'm the band. I'm I'm in. You know, the member. I'm up front with everybody. Whoa. A historical member, a legendary member, known for that. <laughs> and our debut single sold two million records. And uh, nobody knew it was going to do like that, but uh, we were lucky. And uh, from then on, man, it was like uh, radio shows. It was, ooh, radio show in the morning, uh, television show in the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> We were either rehearsing or performing at night, uh, and it was like the first four four years. I think we we worked together as a band for like four and a half years, sure. but the the first two years was like, whoa, like twenty four seven. And uh, let me just let me just give give our viewers a little idea of how how this manifests itself in Japan as a black man coming into Japan learning the culture, learning the people, making friends, and they related 
to me as a new American, African American friend, and one of the first things out there, do you know Marty? <laughs> <laughs> I said, who this Marty? <laughs> Representing us, man. You know, you, yeah. were, you, were, you were the space. You were the, you were the voice and the, 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 the first appearance of the culture for a lot of Japanese people, man. Thank you. So uh, so hats off to you for that. Represent it well. <laughs> I, 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 Real I, black I, ambassador to Japan. I, I still uh, uh, feel that I'm, I'm, I'm in that position. Oh, yeah. Especially uh, when, geographically, when you look at Japan, uh, there, okay, you have uh, the number one city is Tokyo, number two is uh, Osaka, sure. and then you know, the list of Nagoya, uh, Fukuoka. Yokohama, yeah, Yokohama. You know. uh, uh, so, but, but your major cities, there's entertain. You, you have choices of everything, you know, entertainment or whatever, you know, but when you leave those major hubs or cities yeah. uh, television is the only thing they call you know to, to in, for entertainment sure. so if you're on television you wow you know and at that time man you know i could go it was you <laughs> it, it, I, I would go to some you know uh place in the mountains or whatever you know and they say like whoa you know. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> that's it yeah. that's it that's him. I know that's him. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure. So yeah. I had to. It, I know another feeling a little bit, you know, because I'd, I'd appear on news slips that I do for CNN that would be back on in Japan. and right. uh, But I wasn't that walk down the street shouting my name out like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, man. I, I, it was a, a partner down here in Bar uh, down in Osaka said, man, I'm signing your name. Right. Uh, on, on autographing because they think I look like you, you know, that type of thing, you know. Now, as a, as a result of the thing, one of the beautiful things about your career here beyond music was because of your, your presence in the culture, representing America in general and Black America in particular, yes, you, you would even uh, do, call, be called upon to do lectures and teach and teach the culture. Talk about how you contributed to understanding uh, Africa, America, and our culture, and talking about issues of race discrimination and all of that in the schools and in, in community events. How did that evolve for you? Just because Just, of your exposure? Japan has educated me more. Well, I had black history when I was in high school and stuff like that, but it, you, you, you start to try to, uh, your, your identity over here. Sure. It's not just saying I'm a black man because you walk down Tokyo and you, you have a black Brazilian, you know, you know, or, or uh, a black man from Europe, you know. Kenya, Africa, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, you're not just from America, you know. So I, I had a lot of African musician friends that I met over here who make me more interested in, you know, that identity, that, that uh, 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 history. Yeah. And how could I connect with that? It's uh, in, on, in the Kansai area, it's uh, uh, like an, an, a nonprofit organization that studies uh, uh, black history. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to one of the meetings, man, and it kind of like, well, or one of the seminars that they had, and it kind of like blew my mind. Uh, one of the topics was uh, why did, uh, or the transition of Michael Jackson moving from R&B to uh, uh, rock music. Uh, and uh, the professor that was talking about it was white. Whoa. And I'm like, whoa, you know, you got, you got three, three, uh, Japanese professors talking about different subjects uh, uh, about blacks and uh, black yeah. history, yeah. but no no black man up there representing representing, uh, you know. And I'm like, wow, man, this is this is you know, it's it's an eye opener. And uh, one of the uh, promoters or 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 members of of that group recognized me and asked me when I lecture 
on, you know, uh, how I grew up in, in uh, Chicago, you know, I was, you know, uh, Islam, mm -hmm. the, the head office is, is Chicago. Sure. Uh, uh, and then uh, living through the, the, the Malcolm X thing and Martin Luther King and, uh, you know, segregation and racism in that you talk about your life, your upbringing in, in, in urban America, right? right, right. Sure. So I was asked to, you know, do uh, lectures on that. Mm. And how, how was it, you know, how did I grow up out of that or, or you know, grow up in that, you know? And uh, as a matter of fact, I got a, next week I have a lecture on, uh, that I put a, a program together called, uh, uh, black contemporary music mm -hmm. and almost like an es ethnology uh, or it's it's a, our history through uh, uh, American and our culture right yeah man I do lectures on that so I, yeah I, I feel blessed and, and and things have come to me that I thought I would never be asked to do sure. but because I'm asked to do it, I don't say no to it. No, no. The challenges create, to me, challenge creates change. And that self-awareness of, I can change myself to be a better Marty. And, and, and not just the musician over here. As a lot of cats, like you brought up uh, Kenny Mosley. And I say, that's my, that's second generation. He's doing the tours now with, uh, uh, a lot of the big name artists that that are selling now sure uh that's not the end and that's not going to last forever so what do you do or or what are you doing when when you're not touring sure. uh uh what are you going to do uh after that same thing with the uh, zandre you know you we have very talented black uh, uh musicians over here but as as a as a i the knowledge is, I said, we are flower, and I want my flower to bloom as as much as it can. Sure. Which means, uh, under the title, my flower is called music. I produce, coordinate, write, uh, uh, teach, educate. Teach, yeah. Educate, yeah. Anything I can that 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 will blossom that, you know, and that can inspire from that and that's that's my thing man speak to how uh when you instruct music and you uh -huh. instruct it from our cultural perspective how does that manifest itself and is, and is, is 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 there an interest in that among your students here culturally uh, oh man i mean oh well okay it's 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 the background of everything okay, okay. Oh. And, and so and then you had, you know, you, you had your eras of, you know, they were trying to be, you know, Japanese or everybody in the world now has, you know, has hip hop rap, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> they have their own like uh, hip hop uh, culture and, and rap art. Hip hop is like Coca Cola. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, they, they look at, you know, cheap, well, the Japanese are very naive, uh, uh, well, in general, naive race who want to learn they love to learn absolutely but uh our thing is is that you can't put it down in, in writing all the time you have to have lived it or it's like the, the africans if you say this word and they they know that rhythm you know they can't write it out for you yeah. or they can you know they can it's got to be a, share, a shared experience, right? You got to right. you got to feel that, <laughs> and you got to know that feeling when you feel. It. <laughs> so hard so to write that down. Yeah, I know they, they, they look at us as you, you, you're the original. So if I learn it from you, then that this is this is it. Legitimate, absolutely right. And uh, that's in a way that's our assets. But you have to be very uh, uh, sincere and uh, 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 real with that. 
to me. Can we use a Japanese word? Uh, you, you'd have to translate. Majime. Majime. It's serious. And, and, serious. And, 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 you know, not just saying, looking at you as, as a black man, so homono is, is oh, another word. Original, the real thing, authentic. Real thing. Yeah, you know. But, but when I say sincere, you know, don't fake it. You, you can't fake it because they can see through that. Anybody can see yeah, through Yeah, if, if you don't know, don't teach it. You know, if you don't, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of fake faking going on too in that particular business of those who are really not schooled or experienced in it. Leave uh -huh. that alone. Because <laughs> they're yeah. going to end up misrepresenting our culture. And that's a yeah. serious violation. I, 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 I've been in those situations where I caught myself trying to help other black people. <laughs> sure. Uh, other, other, you know, Absolutely. and and turn them on to gigs, and you know, you know, hey man, I want what you make, and I want to do what you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 then when I, you know, out of the kindness of my heart, uh, give that to them, they mess it up. Yeah. By not being professional at what they do for oh. one, and, and demanding, you know, this and that. And, and can't and can't produce. Yeah. So you know, and now I'm you know I get a call from the Japanese counterpart, Marty man, why you turn us on to to the them peoples? <laughs> and and and, and, and uh, I say I'm sorry. You know, I didn't I didn't know that you know about that that person, but you know it won't happen again. You know, and it's you know I've 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 learned to kind of like. You know, if if I'm going to do it, be, uh, uh, you know, study. What you know, be. I don't want that coming back to me. Sure, but then, but what what you're also speaking to is uh, those of us who've been here, acquired the language, and have relationships in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's on us to choose and select the people who have the ability to mix and blend properly. Uh, what you're mm -hmm. pointing to is. Cats that come over and haven't done their own homework in terms of Thank being open to receive what mm -hmm. the Japanese counterpart has to offer and accept right. it and contribute accordingly, right? Yeah, man. I, man, I, I get, I, I go a little bit deeper. You know, we're, we were all introduced to this for a reason. Absolutely. You know, and and some of us don't realize that reason. Okay. And. and uh, you, you, we're here. Like, I used to call it like this. Is for me. It's a wood shop, you know, woodshed place. Okay. You know, for me, for me to, you know, home what I do, uh, uh, get better at it, understand it better, so I can, you know, uh, 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 do it globally, yeah. without on on any terms, man. You know, I I'm not inhibited by I can't do this. I can't, you know, and I don't say that, you know, anymore. Right, right. Not for a long time, huh? Yeah, or, or I don't use things as an excuse of why I can't do this anymore. You know, uh, I've I've take, taken the time to like, you know, put in, you know, to myself sure. to be a me, you know. But being in Japan has given you that opportunity to do so. So, so when cats come here and say, I want to live here, I want to do this, you know, I, you know, I look at, hey, man, Look at it as you know you've you've given a choice you've been given this a gift or choice to 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 do something that you haven't done before. Sure. And uh, look at it like that, and 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 go at it like that, and be open. Right. You know, and you know you reap what you get. You know, reap what you sow. Absolutely. Talk to me about B Edge. Uh, you, is that your current? Uh, band configuration right now? Is that, is that, that's uh, so, what's on present day right now, huh? Basically, uh, B Edge is a, a, a band of, of we, we've all worked with uh, uh, different Japanese counterparts in the past. Mm -hmm. And I used, I, I'm living in the Kansai area now, which is, you know, uh, Osaka, Kyoto. <laughs> and- uh, Western part of Japan, right? Yeah. And uh, when I go back to Tokyo, we would, get together every once in a while and you know have a you know jam session you know at, at some live house or something like that uh -huh. uh, one l jones came approached me one day said marty man if we don't make any cds it's not worth the time that we put in you know just to do these jam sessions 
And I said, okay, yeah, man, let's, let's do that. Yep. So that was the start. And we've released four CDs. Our, uh, we did a cover on uh, Billie Jean and on one of the CDs and uh, that hit number four on uh, London's uh, uh, International uh, uh, Smooth Jazz uh, uh, yes, video. Yes. Yes. Interesting. Yes. So we felt that we, you know we on we on we got we got uh, uh, it's a good band and yeah, we like uh, uh, by African Americans it's you and Warnell Jones right yes. and that's Japanese cats who's on and the, the other cats are Japanese uh, uh, it's keyboards honey uh, yeah honey. And then we have go to talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we we played uh, with uh, William Masaki together. Oh, and I didn't know that relationship. It's his thing, you know. Kid, you know, you know. I managed Paul Jackson as his business manager up until the time of his right. death. Shout out, shout out to Paul, rest in peace. Uh -huh. And that's how I met a lot of the cats that you had been working with for years, because everybody's based in Kansai, a lot of the cats, you know. Right, right, right. right. Cause and all these cats whose names I've known. I know Yamaguchi June. Dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, like that on this end. But, <coughs> excuse me. Hani san? <clears throat> yeah. I call him the Herbie Hancock of Japan, man. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, uh, I mean, everybody in the band, everybody in DH has solo projects out. Okay. Uh, uh, Goto, the sax player, we worked together from Ohashi Junko all the way up to the Omega Tribe thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has a solo uh, CD out with uh, cats from uh, Nepal. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nishiyama Fumio, Hankoya, we call him. He's a guitar player. He's playing with everybody now. And uh, we knew each other. He was uh, Derek Jackson, the bass player yeah. who used to with uh, El Jero, he was his roadie, so, you know, back wow. in the day. Yeah, man, and so. Shout out to Derek Jackson, man. I'm gonna get him on too. Uh, let's see. A, a, uh, a genius of music, but what we're describing here, and it may be hard for our listeners to understand, because of who you are and the music and the stuff that you do, there are Japanese cats that will vibe off you and want to work with you. So you built a family of Japanese artistry relationships mm. over the years and cats said I just know peripheral but you're not knowing mm. because I know y'all but mm. speak to the level of that Japanese artistry man is it comparable to things we might see in the states some of these cats hey, are... uh, okay the Japanese musicians are very very technical okay they come from a, 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 a technical background mm -hmm. uh, studying from classical on up to jazz or whatever their interest is okay. uh, what they lack is is uh, the emotional uh, uh, breakdown of of the groove, sure, okay. of what they um, what what do you you know the message what is what message are you purveying you know uh, what do you want to say in that music, and we've come from that background, For you sure. know we're telling a story <laughs> right right. Yeah. Yeah. From gospel to blues to jazz, you know, and, you know, on it's it's always about the message. Yeah. So they are that transition or, or the uh, collaboration uh, collaboration of of uh, of that is what I have with uh, B Edge now. You know, wow, the are the the groove or the the soul or the foundation of of relaying the message, you know. Great, great. Here's a transition for you. Let's talk about, uh, of your solo projects, your latest projects. We mm. got to talk about Yasuke. Uh, okay. A legendary figure who's getting serious uh, hype these days, specifically. Right. As we talked in the pre-show that you were aware of him 40 years ago. As yeah. I, you know, I covered it, did a piece on him for CBS and CNN. The uh, first black samurai, right, uh, right. Nobunaga, the shogun, uh -huh. Nobunaga, the warlord that brought unified Japan. Uh -huh. Who was this African who came here with a uh, Portuguese Jesuit in Nagasaki? Right. And right. tell us a little bit about him and how now you have built a project around this story. Well, when I first heard about Yasuke, it uh, the 
the sense of like we're we're all over the world. Black people are all over the world, you know. And uh, you have very okay. I I don't want to sound racist or prejudiced. You you but you have some people who don't want you to be here, you know, uh, or or that white counterpart who does you know feels inferior to you being where you're at. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Yasuke and and at you know, putting it all together, uh, we've proven to our counterparts here that we're here to be, you know, to help, to be involved, and 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 to say, yakuni yakuni tatsu, uh, uh, be a part. Well, yakuni tachimasa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, right. Uh, you know. uh, uh, to benefit from. If there's something we can give, we appreciate what we can receive in exchange that Otagai sama. No. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, right. And and and, and I've been I feel that I, I'm still in, in that position. Or Yasuke became, you know, Nomanaga's uh, uh personal bodyguard. Yeah. And th the relationship that th the two of them had is is fantastic. And especially the mystery on the end of okay. Uh, Nobunaga committed seppuku, means yep. he, he got a hairy carry or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> and I used to call it ritual disembowelment. Is right. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, 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 and in that instance, Yasuke took his head and, because, and then Nobunaga told him, said, do not give my head to anyone else. You know, because that, if you give it to the enemy, the enemy shows that they've won. It's a victory, yeah. And, and then his katana, his sword. To this day, nobody has found it. The sword, or the sword and the head. What? Yes, yes, what yes. That's the that's the mem that's the mystery after Yasuke. Wow, and and so whatever we're saying about it is documented in Japanese history books. So this is not a Monogatari. Right. This is not a fiction story. No, right. right. From the 1500s, man, about right. his brother, and, and he's described as you know, he, big dude. He was a big cat. Hey, man. See, and and this this is this history is is older than Black history in in America. Absolutely, we came in 1690. You, you, these are Africans know. circumventing the world. Okay. Thank you. So that he may have even been a navigator for the Portuguese Jesuit guy right. who was propagating Christianity around the world into, but, into the Buddhists, you know. So you 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 know Yasuke had to learn the language. He was fluent in Chinese, is what he's written about. And they were amazed at his physical presence and right. to speak the language in a short span of time. Right. And then he was bad with a katana. Right, right. So <laughs> <And> skills. <laughs> That me present day, I I I've worked uh, to the point to where I'm recognized in the music uh, uh, industry as Marty Bracy, you know, and, and and my history here and you know, doing what I do, right. and uh, uh, the people that on that list or the people that I've worked with, you know, respect me, and and and, and still to this day. You know, we we got each other. You know, we call each other. You know, anytime we want to. You know, that type of family. It's family. Adopted right. family. Yeah. So it's it's not like you know, uh, I used you and you know, I'm throwing you away like Pampers. It's like, no, hey, no, no. you know, I, I I will always respect you for what you who you are and what you've done. And the same thing with Nobunaga will always respect Yasuke for who he is and what he's done. Absolutely. So and, and being. You know that that relationship has you know centered me, saying like that's my you know my purpose here, right. of, of being here in Japan as long as I have. And so yeah. you represent that history and that and that relationship, that cross cultural camaraderie. Right. If I may go, thank you. And, the bridge, and, and, it. And, and the bridge. So Yasuke's story is reflected modern times through you, my brother. Thank you. And so at this point, I'd like to share the screen and play your uh, trailer for your new CD. Can we do oh. it? Can I go oh. there? Go ahead, go ahead, man. Right. Thank you.
Uh, let me see. Let me know if you can see this screen. It's a black YouTube screen right now. You got it? I'm going to play right here. And uh, let me know if you can hear this audio. Marty Brazy, Yasuke, y'all. Yeah, I got it. I got the audio. Okay. Who does this? Nobody's got this, man. <laughs> Brother. African C. Uh, the, the, as you know, the CD is, is broken down into like four tunes. I, I have six tunes on the CD, but the first four are basically. Are these uh, song titles? Yeah. Okay, cool. Reincarnation is you. <laughs> My man with the katana. This is this what you're listening to now? It's a bonus track. I uh, blues came from Africa. Oh wow. New album, 2020, November 18, now on sale. The edge. <laughs> The new, the new configuration. You can buy it off of the Beard website. When you buy the Beard web, website, I sign the, the CD autograph. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to play this a little bit later. Now, is this BH? Yeah. You and Warnell and the Cats, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop sharing the screen right now because I want to I want to talk about what we just saw. Uh -huh. That's amazing, man. That's, that's amazing, man. Hey, we can stop right there. You know what I'm saying? You've done it. <laughs> yeah. And now, man, it's, it's like I said, you know, uh, blossoming. And then you being, uh, I, I know a lot of talented musicians over here, man, you know, who... Uh, I mean, not, not like say Kenny Mosley right now. He's 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 supporting a lot of very good, uh, uh, famous uh, uh, Japanese artists. Yes, he is. Uh, but I, I've done that, and I still do that. Uh, what I haven't done, or, or what I what I what I wanted to do more is connect with me as an artist. I see. A and uh, that was part. Yasuke is is. That, that modern me being an artist, Marty Brown, that's the artist. Yeah, so you've been in a supporting role for a long time. Uh, right, right, right. Being right. that one guy who has the, the flavoring on a Japanese scheme, so to speak, mm -hmm. bringing what you bring to the party. But mm -hmm. this represents you. This is... Thank you. It's a combination of your Japanese experience, too. Here you are in your Japanese yeah. spirit, man, with the katana, which is a Japanese saber, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Right. I love it, brother. I love it. It's, <laughs> Thanks. It's, it's very fitting for mm. this day. Whatever about black history, man. We got black history in Japan. And brother, you're most representative of that. No, man. I, 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 so I am too, you know. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, it, 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 I, the next, I think our next step. Yeah. We, okay. We are representatives here. But now, can we represent our black community? from the States who might want to, you know, well, famous Amos cookies were here for a minute, you know, uh, you know, brothers who want to open businesses here in, uh, in Japan. Amen. That, you know, we're here for that. We, I, I look up at you as being, you know, the cat to do that, you know, but me, I said, I've had, I have offers or, or people who've come to me and say, Marty, I want you to help me on this, this international project. Uh, I want to sell this in the states, or mm. let's do this in 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 uh, Asia, or whatever. You know, I, that's those those opportunities still come to me. Well, man, how how important! I share that sentiment with you, my brother, and that's part and parcel of why I'm having you on the show, and I want you to be a regular contributor because that's the mission of this series called Rap About It with Mal Adams. Mm. We need to tell our stories, man, because you know. Mm. We'd be remiss if we just let them go and be passed on. 
the timing is so important right now, given what's going on in America. Right, 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 given right. Given what continues not to be changed, just to repeat, right. that, you know, guys say you do the same thing and you think you're going to give different result is a sign of insanity, right? Well, it's a mm -hmm. crazy situation that we find ourselves in from mm -hmm. generation to generation. So let's talk about an expatriate option. Uh -huh. I, I often say, people ask me, say, man, I tell them, man, look, my African ancestors came to America on a boat by force. I flew a 747 to Japan by choice. You got to live. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> no, okay. you said to oh, it starts there for me. Okay, uh -huh. so I, I had an opportunity. I took advantage right. of an opportunity to come over here as a CBS correspondent and then head of the CNN mission in Japan, got a 30-minute weekly show telling Japanese news and stories. Mm -hmm. Well, God, I'd be remiss, as would mm -hmm. you, a guy who's acquired the experience you had and have shared and given of yourself so much to that mm -hmm. cross-cultural dynamic, right? Right. You'd be remiss to let it stay right there. We've got to reach back, man, and share and, and empower those who may mm -hmm. be looking for a way out. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And... Uh, you got to come correct, you know, and if they come through this. Guys like you have put your footprint on this situation over here and done a great job. Raised children over here like I have and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's an important story, man, and it's it's, it's historical. And uh, uh, that's what this is all about for me. So thanks for allowing me to share that, man. Uh, no, you, you know, we got the... Who would have known, right? Yeah, we got to eat, sit, get down and eat some barbecue together, you know, you know. Uh. <laughs> I, I remember the last time you came through, man, we had kind of a powwow, so to speak, you know, when you came to Kakigawa, right? Right, right, right. That was way back yeah. right in the day. Times change, though. Times change, you know, the, we, right. like you mentioned, the bubble economy. Everybody, uh -huh. everybody was getting paid, right? Right, right, right. I built a restaurant and a bar behind all that experience, you know, started my own company, left uh -huh. the of corporate America, been independent, been self-employed for 40 years, you know. Thank you for that, right? <laughs> it, it, together, baby, together. Absolutely, right. So your musicianship has put you in business, you know, <laughs> and in, in many ways that are unseen, you see, for new brothers and sisters coming over, they, they haven't been able to penetrate. So we owe it to them to help them a lot. And, and build a nation within a nation, if we, if I may say, use that. I, it's 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 getting there, man. With uh, okay, uh, you have uh the tennis uh pro Osaka. Oh yeah, Naomi, yeah. Man. Uh, uh, Naomi, uh, homeboy that's with, with uh NBA now. Uh, Shizumi, right? Is that yeah, it? man. And, and uh, got a younger brother coming up. Shout out to uh. uh Trying to think of the name right now. I, I, is it the other brother that's uh, 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 running the, uh, 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 who's running, uh, what, what was that? that? Not the 440, but. Uh, oh, I think, I didn't, I didn't know it was a track star, but there was a basketball. Uh, young it, basketball star, it's a track star, and it's a it's tennis star. And, and, and they're all half black, half Japanese. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. And, uh, 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 it says half black Miss Universe. Miss Universe out there in Nagasaki, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Miss man. Universe Japan, right? Sure. You, you, you got to get Steve Haynes on the show too. Oh man, this. <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> Alex Easy. I can, I can go down on this man, but 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 <laughs> who have been here for Ronnie a Rucker, long. the gospel yeah. producer, Ronnie. the meeting, you know, and Alex, yeah. a long time, he, all those cats. He took. He took the gospel and the gospel business to a different, you know, oh, different thing. Oh, but yeah. I'm saying, you know, we are here. And, and then our generations who, like say our kids who are now grown or, or growing up, yeah. I, I got grandkids, you yes. know. But don't, but don't, I know every father is blessed and happy, but aren't, aren't, don't you feel blessed about the children? Hey man, my, 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 okay. My next to the youngest, Angelo. <laughs> Uh, he's he's a professional dancer. He teaches two studios in Yokohama. He was on, uh, uh, he was one of the dancers in blue that was uh, uh, at the Olympic uh, 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 Olympic show. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
and uh, uh, the the Olympic closing, not the not the opening. Oh, the closing ceremony. Okay. And, uh, yeah, with the the Paralympic, and uh, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, my 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 oldest is in the Air Force, getting ready to retire. Uh, uh, the, uh, my daughter, she's she's there with my three three you know grandkids in LA. They're yeah. doing uh, they have their own business. Yeah. Uh, you I know, got I, my two daughters uh, uh, in Orange County, both both uh, with Japanese mother and and, and uh, married Japanese guys. They, yeah, with my, my they wife. Know, she know, you know. <laughs> my daughter did too. But they're representing their culture. Our right, and the understanding of who they are, and from their paternal side. Right, right. You know, but the I mean, Japanese side to the point where we being over here for four decades, uh, I got Japanese mother-in-laws. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. it, you know, I it, and and I feel blessed that I, you know, I'm accepted in the family. Yeah. You know, that that you know, yeah, my my mother-in-law is loves me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why do you know? It's like, it's like, my, my wife complains about it. Well, she, <laughs> more than she loves me. I said, well, right. of course, it be like that, ain't it? <laughs> right. and, and and my my mother, bless her heart, she's you know eighty eight, but she you know she you know I'm she's proud of me. Yeah, you know for for who, who I am and what I'm doing. Of course, and yeah. and uh, that's what you. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. And that's all you want to be is, is happy, you know? And without more, stepping more than happy, I, I shall I say. It. Yeah, man. So terrible. So terrible, shall I say. So shall I say. I mean, because I, I got to shout you out. I'd, I'd feel as comfortable kicking it with you. <laughs> 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 that's a hard mother vibe, right? Right, right. right. I'm trying. What did I just say? Sometimes <laughs> I would feel more comfortable kicking it with you in Japanese because we can express certain things that we've learned to inherit, did you? Right, right. <laughs> so, I, I, I'm translating stuff as I talk of to course, you. Of course, of course, exactly. Just say, it's a No, don't show me that. No, show me that. Me on you, but keep that a kind of going to buy a good with that. Oh, okay. Keep me from having to put the G Maku down there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but what's built in it ain't nothing but love, man, and happiness, and camaraderie, and it empowers us to give more of ourselves. And when you give, you receive, don't you? Thank you, thank you. Come thank on, you. man. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I just hats off to you. I'm not gonna blow you. I, I, Mel, I've always respected you for who you are and what you do. Yeah. Uh, uh, I lost your camera. There you go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got it again. No, yeah, I got it. That's, that's a mutual feeling, brother. But, I mean, it, it's important. We're, we're not just stroking each other. This is something <laughs> real that we, we, we'd we be remiss if we didn't share it and didn't express it somehow to our viewers who haven't got a clue. Right. God bless America or whatever it's supposed to represent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But sometimes we have a hard time living up to that uh, as Americans. But Lord, I've inherited this country, my brother. And I come here, like I said, and, you know, there are those who have learned hate from other places, you know, small scale. But in general, this is an island nation of people who have a camaraderie and a mutual understanding and a culture, man, that if you can participate in it or be a participant of, like I say, mm. you're an ambassador for black folks in mm. Japan and what you've done, what you've accomplished in the relationships that you've established over here, and as I have as well. But mm -hmm. I, I've got to share this story about why I call you my godfather. Oh, uh, <laughs> be the godfather. I th I, maybe it was a Paul Jackson gig we were on somewhere. I uh, might have been an MC or something or passing through or whatever. And uh, I'm watching you do your thing so well in Japanese, communicating with the audience, because a lot of the cats couldn't speak the language. Right, right, right. You use the expression. And I've, I'm a self-styled MC because in my bar, I have live shows and, you know, uh -huh. 
皆さん、国際的な生演奏をお届けします。大きな拍手お願いします。いえいえいえ。Come on! <laughs> When you school me of something and you use an expression, please give a warm round of applause. You said, あたたかい拍手お願いします。Yes. I said, oh, I'm stealing that. <laughs> I never told you that. I was like 40 years ago, man. <laughs> I said, my brother, I was learning from you, man, and, and watching your vibe, man, and appreciating how you've interacted and how people responded to you. What a blessing, my brother. Oh,、uh, man, you got, you got to come to one of the VA shows, man, in Tokyo. I'll,、uh, I'll come MC for you, man. Come on. <laughs> It's all I need. I still, I still like, try to bring my, my audience. Close to you know, like you, you, you're you in our living room and you, 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 you're you close to us, you know,、yeah. not like the, you know, because、yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah.、Sure. you know, the stadiums or, or the, the stage are far away from you.、Yeah. You now have a chance for me to or us to get closer together.、Absolutely. And I, my MC or the way I, I go through my show is like that, you know, or my lecture. It's a knock, it's a grand slam home run when you're able to do it, though. See, everybody's <laughs> doing it, man. Yeah. But you, I've seen you from the beginning. Man, you have that relationship, the ability to communicate with your people. That's why they love you, man. That's why、right? it's like they'll see you and they know you. It's like. But it's, it's, it's one of the most important things to have, you know,、oh. to be able to communicate. You know? that's, that's the point, right?、Mm. That's the point. I guess in anything. Right, 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 right. Particularly in this environment, this dynamic, man.、Uh, thanks, man. My brother. Thanks. My brother. <laughs> hey, man. I'm going to be here just like you're going to be here. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going nowhere, brother. Oh, how come I'm going to be here? So cold, my dad. My burial site has been selected and reserved.、Uh, <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I told him. Throw my ashes in the Sumida Gawa somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. <laughs> Go back into the universe that way, you know. But I ain't going nowhere. Because、yeah. I got ashes. I'm trying to get my American grandchildren back over here, you know. <laughs> so,、uh, can, uh, yeah. I, you know, my, my kids, I, you know, now I look at them as, as now it's, it's your turn to, for your own adventure. Sure, sure, sure. I, 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 you know, my adventure brought me here, and you know, and I, I do and I did what I did, you know, that type of thing. But, but look what they benefited from in terms of their own identity. They got you who came to another country, adopted、mm -hmm. the culture and the language, and, and became who you are in this country、right. more than anybody else who would be considered mainstream. You know, you emerged,、mm -hmm. your largesse now impacts. <laughs> Now they can look at, oh, that's grandpa. Yeah, maybe I can be like that. Hell, I was even inspired by my grandfather. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a generational thing. But look what you've created, man. And look what you're able to contribute. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, my father, and my mother came to Japan twice. My father once before he passed away. And We, he was able to, like, because my father was my, my musical inspiration. Okay. And, and he、was、wanted. He a musician to, as well?、Uh, no, he wanted to be a singer songwriter.、Okay. And, but when I was born, my mother talked to him, you know, to say, no, that's, that's going to be a hobby or that's going to be something that the kids are going to do, but you got to get you a job, job. Yeah, and, coming in, right? Okay. But、uh, I. He, Yeah, my, my father went, he stuck his chest out, so you know, he was going to bust his shirt. He said, That's my son. Right, absolutely. You know? I, I say and, that about my son right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's going 30, you know. That's why、uh, my wife says, You, Java, he don't like you. Don't, don't be putting him on Facebook every time he does. <laughs>、uh, like I said, my, my, my son that's a dancer, he dances behind、uh, Matsi, who's、uh, one of the Uh, main creators of Exile. So when he, sure, does, his,、sure. so when he does his solo uh, uh, project, my son is always with him as a, one of the dancers, one of the actors in his, in,、uh, in his show. So when he comes to the Kansai, I, I'm like front row center. I know that's right. <laughs> and, and my son is like, you know, I'm the only one this 
complexion. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they they know, you know. They know, um, yeah. Well, they it, know that much. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's his papa. Yeah. Right. Right on. Right on. I love it. it. Yeah, man. And then, you know, I, I'm still, you know, uh, uh, active as, as a performer and, and still working, you know. So, yeah, it's it's like, it's, it's, it's let's, wonderful. Let's shout out some of my other brothers talking about you still being active. I just saw a piece you did with Imani, one of the best keyboard players we got here. Okay. Yeah. And Imani's coming on very soon, too. I've got him booked for this show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, I, mean, so tight. I, I, you know, we try to look out for each other. Yeah. Uh, I've, uh, whatever I can turn people that I trust, to, you know, can turn them on to, that's what I'm going to do. Absolutely. You know, to, to, to the, that's who I am, man. You know, Absolutely. And, and, and I'm not looking for anything or nothing like that. I would, because I was able to do it, that's why I'm going to do it. Yeah, but, and, what, but what you alluded to, you got to be, you got to be ready to receive that gift from you. You can't come half stepping. Thank you. Right, right, right. <laughs> not, not, he knows it, you know, but everybody that I work with know it, you know. Absolutely. And uh, we've worked on, uh, I mean, last year I was able to work with my son, who's a dancer. We did uh, uh, jazz dance, it's a jazz program. And, and a dance program for schools. I see. And, and it's a presentation for a school. Well, it's a show for a school. Schools. And we did that together. Imani was uh, the keyboard player and uh, focus. And we had a good time, man. Huh? Good time. Of, we've had a lot of that. Uh, Paul Jackson and uh, Jazz for Kids. Jazz for, and, yeah. Uh, and uh, Zandre, who's the guitarist for Exile. You mentioned the Exile band. Right. Biggest boy band in Asia, arguably, you know, one of them. Right. And uh, a lot of luminaries in our community, man, who's been here as long as you and I have, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, I just can't wait to share their stories. But I, I come to my godfather first. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I had a, like I told you, I had a four hour marathon with Max Ann, man. And you uh -huh. talk about Andre Fisher. She mentioned she came to the movie again. And I had to have seen her and didn't know her then, but I knew uh -huh. the other cast. Warnell too, you know. Right, right. That's with that Rufus Andre brought that. with Rufus, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And look at look at all of them. Just uh, major in their own right, you know, in Japan. Hey. Yeah. You know Max did did the uh what what was the movie about the uh, uh, the blues? Ma Rainey's Black yeah. Bottom Man, she was the voice of that. Viola yeah. Davis, if that's her first name, yeah. Could not, didn't, wasn't a singer, right? Couldn't do it. Right. And she couldn't lip sync to Max, so Max had to go in. Bradford Marcellus pulled her into the gig. Uh -huh. And did that stuff and actually reversed lip sync to Viola Davis's mimicking of that song, you know. But wow, that's our system, man, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. We, we lo lonely and lovely times, you know, with, 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 with those people. Absolutely. So, but, so. Let me end uh, with this project. I want to play this video. Describe what this is we're about to hear. This is the B Edge, right? Yeah. And you'll see the brother we keep mentioning, Warnell, <laughs> playing. Uh -huh. right? uh, I'm going to freeze the frame. Hold on. Let's go to the video. And uh, tell me who these members are. Okay, that's in the middle there. That's Warnell Jones. Okay. Uh, Warnell came to Japan, uh, was introduced to Japan by Andre Fisher. And uh, he was part of the Rufus project that came to Japan. Right. With Japan. He decided to stay. And uh, he's originally from the DC area. Yeah, the Young uh, Senators. That was his, yeah, one of his young, first band, the Young Senators, I believe, right? Yeah. And uh, he wrote music for Ramsey Lewis, uh, uh, the Pointer Sisters. Yeah. Uh, He's, uh, okay, lots of stuff, man. But uh, over here, he's worked with uh, Harada Shinji, uh, TRF. Yeah, uh, oh, big, yeah. big bands, right? Big names. So, we got to get stuff. Uh, yeah, my, on camera that's, right there, you see my mouse, that brother, that, that's Honey Sound, right? Yeah, Honey Tomoharu. Yeah, oh, on keys. Yeah, uh, boy, you know. Together with the Weta Masaki. Yes. And, uh, is that, uh, that's you on drums? That, Who's that next to you right there? Uh, that's uh, Nishiyama Fumio. He's a guitar player. Okay. 
And he's yeah, oh man, we go all the way back when he was just carrying somebody's uh, 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 guitar case. Was, and now was that Derek's uh, roadie? Yeah, De yeah, Derek's roadie. <laughs> Derek. De that was that was back in the Chicken Shack days, huh? Right, 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 okay. right. Okay, yeah, wow. And you then uh, Chicken Shack? that's that's Goto Tero, sax player. Okay. Uh huh. We worked together, man. Wow. He's been more family than family has. Oh, We've been yeah. well, yeah. for over 40 years, man. Uh, oh, oh, Ohashi Junko, uh, we worked together with the Domega Tribe Project, a whole bunch of things. Uh, Monomani, Koroke, you know. Let's check out this, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is B Edge, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Baseline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where y'all at in Chicago right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is down in uh, uh, Kyoto. <laughs> Kyoto place called Rag. Yeah. Right on. But we had we had a full you know full house. Body bass it on drums right there, y'all. Check him out. Black history in Japan. Yeah, that's it, baby. <laughs> uh. And it's like this, it's fun all the way, every, every time we get together. Yeah. Two horns. Yeah. <laughs> the horn and Coleman thing time there. Like 
to get carried away. So, <laughs> he yes, gets so to the groove. He forget me there. <laughs> yeah. that out and on and on <laughs> to the break of dawn is what it is <laughs> <laughs> yes sir <laughs> thanks, thanks a little something something for the people man thanks. but thanks, that's man. what you do all day long and all night <laughs> hey 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 hey, hey. <laughs> 24 7 baby 24 7 for 40 years and counting huh Hey, hey. Oh, my God. Hey, going to keep on doing it. Yeah, keep yeah. on doing it, huh? I was, oh, I was, okay. we, we, we've been able to show a whole other side. It's not just about that session right there, man. You have a whole life. You contribute to education, culturally, representing black America as one of the ambassadors as we build this nation within a nation, man. Come mm. on, man. Come on. Hey, I'll be right there with you. Right there with you. I appreciate you, brother. And I appreciate you. Stay tuned. I'm going to sign off here. You you hang on so we can have the after show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still recording. Okay, okay, Ladies okay. And gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. We thank you for joining us from all over the world where we're streaming live on the Global News Network, GNN. I didn't say CNN. I said GNN. <laughs> <laughs> Japan Journal, the Internet's number one weekly. English language online cyber deaths from Japan with your old smile Adams here and my very very special guest this week Mr. Marty Bracey let's give him a virtual standing ovation Hakushu Atatakai Hakushu You didn't know that eh? you know I was peeping your Japanese <laughs> That's my teacher y'all <laughs> Let him know. Let him know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stick a stay, don't you dare go away. See you, wouldn't want to be unless you were right up in here in Japan with us. <laughs> oh, Japan Journal, baby. Peace and blessings. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. I'm going to sign off here. Fade me black now. Fade me black. Hey, boom. <laughs> okay. We're going to stop taking. Japan Journal with Mal Adams, the Internet's number one, weekly, English language, online cybercast from Japan. This episode features our regular series, Rap About It.